Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Stevie. Hey, how you doing today? I'm good this morning. How good. are you? Doing well. Good, yes. good. We are steps closer to officially being in summer, so oh, yeah. I think I'm in summer in my mind. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. Yeah. Monday is supposed to be like 94, 96 yeah. degrees. Yeah. We're in summer now. Yes. It's summer. Yes. So I don't think we saw too much of spring. No, but hey, it was still um, snowing in spring, so yeah. <laughs> in traditional spring. So there's a lot going on, huh? It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> there's something about this transition to 40. Oh my god, it's it's and it's funny because I'm like I'm more cognizant. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I thought I was. <laughs> you know what, Stevie? Speak for yourself. I'll be 48 this year, but I'm still a spring chicken. <laughs> we'll see what Starbucks has to say about that one. We will see what Starbucks has to say about that. When we come right back, they're in the news again. We'll be right back to talk about it. Healthy food for healthier communities. In partnership with Focus Radio and Apple Ridge Farm, The Well Market is a youth-run farm stand providing healthy, local, organic produce to people living in the Northwest Gainesboro neighborhood. Fruits and vegetables such as greens, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and squash are harvested from the George Washington Carver Community Garden in Northwest Roanoke and local farms in Floyd County including Patchwork, Green Island, and Apple Ridge Farm. Money raised from produce sales goes directly back into the program and continues to fund youth involvement and entrepreneurial skill development. Please visit the Well Market every Saturday from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. and help support healthy food for healthier communities. The Well, working, eating, living, and learning together. Conceded in partnership with UPL presents our third annual Networking in the City, Grow Your Network to Grow Your Net Worth, a nonprofit event that will benefit Apple Ridge Farm and UBU Back to School Drive. Hosted by me, Vernice Bell, and my co-host is Justin Hash, Saturday, June 30th, 5 to 9 p.m. Music will be powered by the one and only DJ Kid. Dressed to impress, 21 and over, I welcome. Bring your business cards. We will have guest speakers and door prizes. At Century Plaza Park, 14 Church Avenue, Southeast Roanoke, Virginia, 24011. For more information, you can email us at networkingthecity at gmail.com or call us at 540-353-1770 or check us out on Facebook. The third annual Networking in the City Social is not always what you know, sometimes it's who you know. Um, I matter because I help people every day learn about their medications and their health and I matter because I'm a human and every life matters. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. Yes, we are. Hey, Stevie. What's going on, Miss Erica? So Starbucks is back at it again. Oh Lord, yes. What's happening now? <laughs> Starbucks stays in this water. I guess they gotta keep it hot for the coffee. Don't y'all like hot water? In your so <laughs> I'm think, so disappointed. Though. I know. You know. I thought we were moving ahead and progressing, and they were on their way, but yeah. Now this. So guys, Starbucks discriminates against older workers, according to former employees. So, this is what the Huffington Post says. Um, there was a young lady named Erica, I mean, Andrea, mm -hmm. who she spent a recent 13 hour shift at Starbucks where she works as a manager. Mm. In agony, the 52 year old who asked that her real name and location not appear in the story for fear of losing her job, mm -hmm. had opened the store at 5.15 a.m and was supposed to leave at 1.45 p.m. Right. But then she had to cover for an employee who went home sick. Mm -hmm. An hour into her shift, she started to feel the familiar sharp sensation that shoots up from her feet to her back mm -hmm. whenever she stands for prolonged periods. A few hours later, she began to limp, and she has a health condition that she didn't want to specify okay. to protect her an anonymity. Mm -hmm. 
She ignored the severe pain as she took drive-through orders and made sure the coffee bar was running smoothly. And in the past four years, get this, this is the gotcha. Andrea has applied for 29 jobs within Starbucks in areas like human resources and recruiting that would allow her to spend less time on her feet. Mm. She's been rejected from all of them mm. and only once landed an interview, even though she's been with the company for 15 years, has, was voted manager of the quarter for her district in 2016 and earned a degree through the Starbucks scholarship program at Arizona State University. Mm. At first, she thought she simply needed to further develop her management skills and put in more face time with the regional head office. But over the past two years, as she's watched several of her colleagues over age 40 to be fired or suddenly leave the company, she's begun to suspect a more sinister reason for her repeated rejections. Oh, that's crazy. Yes, and that's a good, I'm gonna stop right there. This is, y'all, if you wanna read the complete article, it's on Huffington Post, mm -hmm. or they call it Huff Post. It's on Huff Post, <laughs> and it is in there. It is so much, so it's so age much. discrimination, yes. basically, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so when my girlfriend Tracy was here, she was talking about how she had put resumes out, stuff like that. Nobody would call her for an interview because they look at age. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be 48 this year. She'll be 48 this year. We can give it to you like a 28 year old. <laughs> That's I mean, right. come on. At least get somebody in there, see them, see how they are. Because a lot of 40 year olds, 40 is the new 20. It so is. what are they talking about? It is. You know? It oh, is. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. But it's not just Starbucks. A lot of people are doing it. They are. What do you think the issues are? Why are they scared to hire people after 40? Um, for one, you know, people who are under 40, and it's funny because I'm like, I'm really close to 40 and I don't feel like, I feel like you do. And I was joking at the start of the show because I'm not a spring chicken anymore according okay. to these laws and rules of this company, allegedly. But it did say um, that in the article and what I know to be true too is that you could pay somebody younger to um, do it for less money, the same job for mm -hmm. less money. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we were saying at the beginning um, before the show started is that a resume expert has told me that you shouldn't put your like dates on okay. resumes like that and that is outdated. So mm -hmm. there's a new way to do, sh to do um, resumes now and you okay. have to stay up to the time. So mm -hmm. if you're putting those dates somebody could easily calculate okay so if you like me i graduated high school in 96 so mm -hmm. they're gonna 18 plus you know 20 they're years. gonna calculate yeah. it mm -hmm. so they're gonna look at it and say okay that's our age mm -hmm. and it's easy if you do that so they you know you have to get more functional targeted resumes and okay. starbucks really like they they had a plethora of um of people come out and say like, yeah, when I was around this age, that's when they let me go. That is crazy. So now they need a class on age discrimination, <laughs> you know? I mean, they that's, do. that's crazy. They do. That is crazy. So the tip here is do not put dates on your resumes anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't put what year you graduated from high school. Don't put your age, anything that might give your age away, don't put it on your resume. Don't. Yes, yes. And so the other mm. thing about it is that, you know, when you're customer facing, being in a store location, mm -hmm. they want you to look a certain way. They want mm -hmm. you, you know, I look young, I look 20, you look 20. So we won't have that problem. But there are some people, I know I went to my high school um, reunion sometimes back and they look like they was 50. I said, did I graduate with y'all? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so you know, some people look a certain way, they age differently, and they want that fresh, hip, young look, and right. less, less, and that's a brand image. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when they talk about branding, all parts of branding have to come in here. And so they, they don't want, you know, unfortunately, older looking people, it is, it is discrimination, but I believe that people discriminate, we're talking about workplace discrimination, which right. is good. So I think people discriminate by how you look mm -hmm. like people I've heard people who are overweight 
won't get certain jobs because they don't look a certain way. Um, it is, Casita and I were doing this Facebook Live yesterday about presentation and how you present yourself. And people do. They, mm-hmm. they sum you up. They mm-hmm. look at you and sum you up. And you might not have a dollar in your pocket, but you could look like a million bucks. And so. On that note, <laughs> we'll be right back. Children of the Roanoke Valley just can't wait for the fun at Apple Ridge Farms Summer Academic Camp, all at no cost to qualifying children in underserved areas. This is where Apple Ridge Farm needs you. It costs $800 to send one kid to camp for three weeks. Help sponsor a child's unforgettable summer with memories to last a lifetime. Join us as we transform the lives of our community's underserved children. Visit AppleRidge.org and click on the donate button today. Apple Ridge Farm, serving the community since 1978. The Bradley Free Clinic provides free, compassionate, and high-quality medical, dental, pharmaceutical, and preventative health care services for Roanoke Valley residents who lack the resources necessary to maintain their health and productivity using volunteer health care professionals. Check them out on their website at bradleyfreeclinic.com. We're back, we're back, we're back. This age discrimination thing is really pissing me off right now. I don't like it. You know, what are people on the, on the feed saying? Um, my mom said, my mom said, hey, is an issue. And mm-hmm. um, Tracy is, hey, Tracy, she's hey, here. Hey, Trey. And she said, OMG, yes, so true. Mm-hmm. And then other people are giving us compliments. Thank you, Lachey. Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> we appreciate those. And Karen Frycop just came in the room. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Karen. And I wanted to specifically talk about the commercials really quickly. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs are in the room. And I believe that we miss out a lot of times on different opportunities because of the fact that we're the best kept secret, right? right? We're the best kept secret. You are the bomb in what you do, mm-hmm. but nobody knows about you and what an unfortunate thing that is. And so what I really hope that you guys are taking stock of and really looking at is the commercials that happen between the breaks. I feel like you need to have a commercial. Like Absolutely. you need to, and there's some amazing rates that I've heard about, and you just have to invest in your brand, your business, as we talk about this discrimination, it ties into that as well, because guess what? If you own your own company, you can't discriminate. You never fire yourself. So that's the big thing. You know, use your skills that you have. Um, so I, mean, I would love to talk to this young lady because I feel like she could be a great entrepreneur. Oh, but yeah. use the skills that you have and truly, like, Make your own money. Make, Make your, your own, own money. money. And it is hard. I always tell people, jobs are hard, business is hard, but choose your heart. For me, it was a better choice that I never thought I would make. So definitely, shouts out to all the people who have commercials. I look forward to getting um, to see more of your commercials. Definitely reach out to the Focus Radio page so you can take your brand and business to the next level because we're not doing things like usual. And Absolutely. you don't have to be discriminated against mm-hmm. for how you look, how you act. People and just, definitely yeah. not your age. Yes. Focus, fashion, timeless. Yes. That's, we put it out there. Yes. We don't discriminate against age. Not anymore. Not with models. 
No, don't discriminate. Yeah, that's right. Period. Breaking all the barriers. That's it. Breaking the barriers. Mm-hmm. And people just, they do stuff. People, I'm Southern, very Southern. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and people, I don't like her because she's from the South. Or I don't like her because she's this or whatever. Exactly. When you make your own rules, you can change the game. That's it. Change the game. Make your own rules. So, I think... Oh, hello, everybody. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Valerie Jones. People are checking good in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes. All kind, my North Carolinians are in the building. Hey, what's mm. up, Greensboro? Hey, Greensboro. <laughs> and so, people from Philadelphia. We got some Aggies in here. Hey, Philly. <laughs> and Victoria Watts. We love Victoria Watts. Take yes. your brand and business to the next level with Focus Radio. That's a tagline if I've ever seen it. Aw, thank you, Victoria. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I, I can't will. wait to see what you're getting ready to do. Yeah. I will definitely be at Danville Fashion Week. I can't wait. Shout out to you and Kelly Cunningham. Yes. What you guys do is phenomenal as well. So, people from Roanoke, if you get a chance, get tickets to Danville Fashion Week. They will put on a great show. I know. I'm excited. I hope this date so I can make because I want to see it. I wanted to see Absolutely. it last year and I had a scheduling conflict but definitely want to see it and she said okay can we bring focus fashion timeless to cvafw in the fall yes 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 <laughs> yes tracy come back i need you to come back my timeless models i need you to come back we're gonna go rock it in danville that's an yes. invitation thank that's you for invitation. the invite absolutely yeah. go absolutely. victoria Make space for us and we'll be there. Yes, honey. On that note, we'll be right back. There's a book called Roll Jordan Roll by Eugene Genovese, and he talks in that book about what it means to be African American, what it means to be black, what does it mean to experience slavery. He talks about slavery in a different perspective. He talks about it in the sense where slavery is a paternalistic. It was something that was a domain, and people went with what they knew to be correct. As much to the likes of African Americans today, we are born in systems, we're born in communities, and we're born in environments that causes us to react in a certain way and it depletes the opportunity for exposure meaning we can't think beyond a level of exposure rather I mean this is clear uh, Dr. Jeff Goddard writes this book called uh, the love prescription and in it he talks about ptsd but post-traumatic slave disorder we as african americans we take on a license of blame we take on the suspension of accountability we no longer are accountable for our own actions no we do not take responsibility for them we play the blame game and when we play the blame game uh, there's no action there's no progression there's a, a reciprocal nature of just nothingness there's an old saying that excuses are tools up incompetence used to build mountains of nothingness and those that use them seldom accomplish anything i believe that to be true there's a lot of things that we can do as a people that will get us off of that hiatus of complacency you know if we truly just look at each other and give each other a hand out that hand out can become a hand up. Why? Why? People say don't give a hand out, hand out. No, 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 no. We need to do that because we've been doing enough of the stealing from one another. What do you mean stealing from one another? Well, then we rob each other of our potential when we don't give the next person a little gem of who we are that can empower them, that can ignite them to go on and do something different, to do something, period. Hey everybody, we're enjoying this conversation today. Please hit us up in our feed. We want to hear your comments. And when we come back, we will talk about the weekend events. Stay tuned. Hello, I am Zariah Bell. What happens when stories are left out of history? This summer, stories will be put in their proper place. A community of people who built institutions such as the Clayton Memorial Clinic, Burrow Memorial Hospital, Harrison School, Addison School, and many more.
recent stained streets such as Henry Street, Gainsborough Road, Patton Avenue, and Gilmer Avenue. Gainsborough Revisited will go into detail with interviews from the people who directly impacted the community of Gainsborough and Northeast. They will give the stories of how their families made an impact on the community and city. They will explain what once was and what happened to it. Churches, businesses, homes were destroyed. Land was taken for what would later be known as urban renewal. Who was responsible? What was taken? Why would this happen? Who benefited? And is it happening today? This documentary was the inspiration of Jordan Bell. Growing up in Roanoke, he wondered why the things his grandmother, aunt, and mother said was in Gainsborough aren't there now. So he started to research. Civil rights, education, law, business, medical, religion, and all have a special story in Roanoke. With the help of many, those stories will be told. Thank you. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hey, Steven. Hey. <laughs> well, we have, um, we have Lala all the way from California. Good morning, Lala. <laughs> oh, she, it's early then. Yes, it is. And she said, top of message. Thank you for chiming in. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I love, I love community. Let's get excited because a lot of these people, I'm like, are parts of my community from high school. I have shouts out to Dee Brown. We went to high school together oh, wow. at Grimsley High School. And um, just Lala Key and Lachey, these are people who I um, have on Periscope with me. So they came over to Facebook to watch. Oh, that's <laughs> and awesome. And that's amazing. Thanks for joining yes. us. Definitely. And speaking of community, you know, I had to go see my Aggies last night. Okay. <laughs> How'd that go? It was awesome. I went to alumni meeting right over at the library. Oh. And um, Natasha from Trifecta, she's okay. an Aggie. She was there. And it was just amazing. They were so excited. They were like... What class are you in? Mm. And all this stuff. It was just amazing. I look forward to doing some work with them in the fall. They actually um, will be having a cookout really, really soon, July 14th in okay. Salem. I think it's Longwood Park. Longwood Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're like, invite everybody, everybody come on out. And so that'll be awesome. But this was good to be in the community. We have one of the young ladies who recently just started helping us with T-Boy Jasmine, her mom is an Aggie. Oh, and <laughs> it's, wow. It's small. And her, my friend, um, Beth, works with her. Mm -hmm. It's like, Stevie is probably the biggest Aggie I know, and that's how like she connects. She was like, you gotta come to a meeting. So, okay. And it was just good to be, you know, around people and talk about what we will do um, throughout, in this city, and bring some of the Aggie flavor here. Right. And just, I was like, yes, because I love my people. So yes, you do. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. That's I, a good thing. Yes, I'm. I I just am excited. I'm like, I need to get back to Greensboro. I haven't been in Greensboro in so long. I'll be. There's I'll no be excuse. There. You're so close. I know. It every weekend is booked. <laughs> That's what happens when you start this entrepreneurial thing but I am going to Greensboro but and I definitely have to go on campus because that's just I get my um energy back but yeah so that was cool and then community like as far as just the amazingness that's happening in Roanoke oh, this yeah. weekend we have yeah. all kinds of exciting things right definitely so we have the well back in the morning they'll have fresh vegetables out there so come join us that's what we do that with Apple Ridge Farms mm -hmm. And we'll also have other vendors out, out there as well um, selling different items. So please come out and join us. We also have two free vendor spots available for tomorrow. Anybody looking for a vendor spot? I know it's a short notice, but we do have two available tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Bradley Free Clinic will be there as mm -hmm. well. They'll have a nurse there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it'll be nice. It'll be really nice. I think people are sleeping. Listen. Okay, I've been vending a long time, mm -hmm. people, and people don't have free, they said free, 
I'm about to have a book table. See what y'all talking? <laughs> <laughs> so y'all have one. No, I'm just playing. But the the whole thing is a free vending spot where you can make. That's unheard of. What in the world? Y'all better get y'all's bed. Yeah. And if you live um, anywhere like near within three hours, you can invest some time, invest your day, and come come meet some people. The whole thing again, visibility is key to success. Absolutely. Absolutely, you got to be visible, and you got to put it out there. If people don't know your business, they can't buy anything. That's from right. You, so mm. Put it out there. And so my mama said, hashtag Aggie Pride. <laughs> <laughs> She's an Aggie mom. I had to teach her how hey, to say girl. Aggie Pride. If we don't say it in a certain way, but yeah, so that's exciting. And then you said Sunday, something else exciting is happening. Sunday, yes. Karen Fry Cobb will be sh starting her new show. We will we'll talk about that in just a second. We'll be right back. This summer vacation, find adventure at Apple Ridge Farm Academic Summer Camp. Exciting hands-on experiences for 6 to 16 year olds with daily learning and outdoor fun. Kids love the hiking, climbing towers, zip lines, high and low ropes courses, swimming and tennis. Moms like that their kids are learning programming, reading, music and environmental education and leadership skills. Free to qualifying youth with sledding scale fees also available. For more information including free health screenings, visit appleridge.org or call Apple Ridge Farm, helping kids grow since 1978. Um, I matter because I help people every day learn about their medications and their health and I matter because I'm a human and every life matters. I matter because every day when I wake up I got an opportunity to affect somebody's life in a positive way. And I drag people down like crabs in a bucket but help somebody uplift themselves. And, uh, I'm at it because I'm here to make a change. That's why I rap the change. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I show up in the world? How do I leave my mark? How do I get up every day and be the best I can be? It all starts with a mindset. The mindset to keep pushing through all adversity to wear the titles of confident, self-reliant, and eternally beautiful. It all starts from within. Think, feel, be, and see. Karen Fry Cobb will be hosting Breaking the Silence, A Mother's Perspective. It's going to be a very powerful show, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that one. She will have a special guest on Sunday. You will see who that person is Sunday at 7, so stay tuned. Yes. And like yes. Buffy said, welcome to the team, Karen. Yes, Karen. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Now we'll have two Karens, yeah. Karen Fry Cobb and Karen Mills. I'm like, I'm Karen Squared, Karen Squared. <laughs> <laughs> so I know something um, that's happening today, and I, I know we do birthdays at the end, but I'll, I don't want to forget because this is an important birthday. Okay. Um, my sweetheart Troy English, her birthday is today. Aww, oh, happy yeah. birthday, Troy. <laughs> yes, Troy is amazing. So proud of her. She um, graduated and moved on to North Carolina Aww. and she's doing some great things. So happy birthday, Troy. I, you know, Just TV Show would not have been what it was without you. Exactly. And I'm so excited about that. And so, yes, I had to say that was on my heart and I did not want my head to forget it. So, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we, um, it's just an exciting time, I think. We have a couple more weekends and then we'll have T-Boy. T-Boy will be back <laughs> real soon. Yes. We'll touch July the 7th, the first Saturday in July. So, come on out to T-Boy. You don't want to miss that. You don't. Mills and Cobb. Yes, Mills and Cobb. Mills and Cobb. <laughs> yes, takebackouryard.org. You've got to go there. You've got to see what's happening. You've got to 
get your um, donations in. Why not sowing great ground? I know that when you sow in great ground, you produce a mighty harvest. And there's a donation link on there. And you got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. It's, it's amazing. And I think um, before that, we, saw, we just saw a conceited commercial that I was starring in. Y'all got to see me be a model. But Miss Conceit is having an event coming up, and we saw that commercial. So we have a lot. June is jumping. June is jumping. It and started off with a bang. It's yeah. going to end with a bang. Yes. Right? Y'all yeah, have been doing definitely. it the last two weekends. Yes. Yes. <laughs> been a busy month so far. Yes. Definitely. And then we have something to do next weekend mm -hmm. and next weekend. I think it's going to be a busy summer. It is. Because <laughs> we got some trips we're trying yeah, to plan, yes, too. So we yes. got a couple of bus trips. Stay tuned for those. Mm -hmm. and um, just a lot we're trying to do this summer so hopefully you guys will do it with us yes y'all mm -hmm. want to because exactly. I heard I heard the places are amazing and I heard you know my ears stay to the streets so I've heard people say I want to go here and there so we're working on it we're making we're working it happen on it I'm excited mm -hmm. I'm excited <laughs> yes too. Give me a beach and I'll be yes. there right so many people Love are calling it. for the beach they, yes. they definitely want to yes yes Summer's not summer if you don't get to go to the <laughs> beach. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I love the beach. Love it. Last year, I didn't get to go to a beach, but this year, I'm going to <laughs> yes. a beach. Yes. It's so. just something about the water and the refreshing and the just, and it's funny because I've never traditionally been a beach person, mm -hmm. but I, for some reason, I'm like, really, I really want to go this year. I think I need a refreshing. Let me go stand in the Lake Minnetonka. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so Stevie, your final thoughts for the day. Yes, so in my world, it's It Factor Friday. I just launched my Cultivating Your It Factor book club. We are awesome. relaunching the book. It's been three years um, out, but I feel like now people need to hear that message more. Mm -hmm. So that's what I will be spending my weekend doing. Um, definitely want to say, guys, make it a great day. Do not have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye. See y'all Monday. All right. Oh, happy Father's Day. That's it. Father's Day <laughs> is Sunday. Don't forget about it. Yes, Don't forget so, about it. Happy that's Father's Day, Daddy. just as important as Mother's it Day. It is. And you know yeah. I love my, I love I my daddy. So I couldn't get in Tommy and Farmer and DJ and all the fathers who are all around here. daddies were yeah. around. Yes. So... Happy Father's Day, guys. I wish everyone a very, very happy Father's Day. And to me, to sum it up today is do not discriminate mm -hmm. under any circumstances. Do not discriminate. The world is too big for that. Learn to become diverse. Age, color, everything. Disability, everything. Just be diverse. Shout out to Roanoke. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Jersey. And of course, if your birthday is today, like Troy's, happy birthday to you. Have a safe weekend, everybody. Until Monday, God bless. Who is N. Wesley Pugsley Jr. and Associates CPA? We are a full service CPA firm with over 25 years experience in audit, tax, bookkeeping, payroll, including direct deposit, setting a 501c3 nonprofit status, preparing loan packages, and much more. Since tax season is right around the corner, our focus today will be on taxes. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. What sets your CPA firm apart from other CPA tax preparers? Technology. When I started in public accounting in the early 1980s, there were no computers or fax machines. Everything was face-to-face -face meetings. With the advent of computers, the internet and cloud-based software, we can communicate with any client from anywhere in the country. With our portal technology, which is similar to online banking, you just sign into our secure website, upload your tax document, you scan to your C drive, and we prepare your return. We've prepared taxes for over 15 different states in the past three years from California to New York. We have the state tax software for all states. With Skype being on phones and Facebook, we can meet with you face-to-face -face in the comfort of your home. It appears times are changing. I call this the year of enlightenment. Many Americans are seeing the advantages of supporting community-based businesses. We are here to serve you, not just because we're a community-based firm, but because we have the experience. We know we can serve your needs. How are you giving back? 
If you mention the Renaissance Academy when we prepare your taxes, 5% of your tax prep fee will be donated by our firm to this organization. The Renaissance Academy is a program designed to engage middle and high school African American males in a series of college trips, community service, job shadowing, workshops, and events promoting academic and social and financial skills. See their website for more information.